Yo, 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 yo. Hey guys, welcome back to another awesome edition of the Best Practices Show podcast. My name is Kirk Barron and my job, my only job, I only have one job, is to find you the greatest people in all of dentistry, the best thinkers, the best leaders, the best influencers in dentistry and bring that information to you to help you improve your practice and your life. And today I've got one of my favorite people in dentistry, Dr. Bob Skinner, who has a servant's heart in an amazing organization called the ADA. And we're gonna be talking about specifically SmileCon, why it's so different, why you have to attend, and why you should go and check it out. It's gonna to be totally different this year. And what they have lined up is one of a kind. So make sure you check out, check out this episode. And uh, as you're gonna see, we put links below. So uh, you can flip right down below and you can go straight to the links and you can register. And I'll be there, Dr. Skinner will be there, and a whole host of of amazing dental friends. So make sure you guys join us. So check it out. We'll see you guys soon. Have a great day, everybody. Hey guys, welcome back to the Best Practices Show podcast. I'm so pumped you're here. This is a special, special episode because I have a special place in my heart for this organization. And this man that I've got on today, he's like a hero, a leader in dentistry, Dr. Bob Skinner. We're going to be talking about what's different at the ADA SmileCon that's coming up. And it's coming up. It's right around the corner. If you're not registered, I'm telling you right now, you got to get registered. You got to be there because this is going to be crazy different. So Bob, thanks for being on, brother. I appreciate it. It. Honored to be here. Yes, it's three weeks from tomorrow. So yeah, it's 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 closing in quick. We've been working on this uh, a little shy of two years. So all of these uh, annual meetings and now SmileCon is what we've rebranded it as. Is uh, there's a lot of work, a lot of moving parts to uh, to SmileCon, but uh, it's all fun. It's a labor of love. Uh, we've got a great staff. We've got awesome volunteers that put their brains to work and to create a, an event that everyone can remember for years to come. Yeah. And I want you to talk about it. It's different. I'm just going to shout out to you. You've got a servant's heart though. Like you're committed to making sure that this is a great experience and that we leave dentistry in a better place than we found it. Right? Well, you surround yourself with good people. You know how that works and things tend to work out well. Hopefully they do. Sure. Amen. Amen. So I want you to take us through the vision of this. So this year it's going to be in Texas and you guys had a unique vision around this particular meeting. Walk us through that. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. It's the first time ever we've we've been in Houston, and you know Houston is uh, is the fourth largest city in the country. It's probably the medical mecca hub in the world, literally. Uh, so we were anxious to go there. The other kind of a crazy thing about this, it's uh, three meetings in one. The uh, Texas Dental Association is is. Uh, uh, having their meeting with us, as well as the Greater Houston Dental Society. Um, so the excitement is going to be just overwhelming because of, of the influx of TDA and Greater Houston. And then Big Brother's in town, I guess, however you want to call the ADA, but we're in town to bring our, our show. So we're really excited about the, the, the numbers and the uh, different events that we're going to have at SmileCon. Yeah, and so typically this is a scientific meeting, but this is going to be more fun than what people are accustomed to. You've got a ton of stuff going on. I want you to talk about, like, the Street Fest. Let's start there. What's the Street Fest? Street what fest is that? It's kind, of, kind of cool, you know. Uh, my strong suit is a visionary. I, I, I kind of think ahead a little bit. Let's see something that's going to be fun. Most of your listeners hopefully may remember when we had annual session and we would have, you know, 30 or 40, 50,000 people and we'd have the Beach Boys and the Jay Leno's and stuff. That would take. A lot of meetings are different now, but I think we've lost a little of that wow factor. And that's what we're trying to bring back at SmileCon. Uh, we're trying to attract our younger dentists and have something that's appropriate for them. But Street Fest was one of the things I said, you know, we're in a convention center all day long. We're going to listen to wonderful speakers, and we get to go to Dental Central and 
and do the things that we typically do at most all dental meetings around the country. But I said, let's get them out of the convention center. Let's get them out outside for a bit. And, you know, autumn in, in Houston is a great time. The weather's going to be great. So they, they were closing the street in front of the Georgie Brown Convention Center. And in Houston downtown, they have a thing that's called Discover Greens, and it's a green area. So we're going to close the street. We're going to set up a stage. We're going to have live bands come. We're going to have food trucks. It's going to line the street. So, you know, there'll be food and adult beverages and not adult beverages there for us to partake in. And so we can enjoy some music. We can form different communities that we've, we've been working on that we can sit and enjoy and have a relaxed time where we can uh, reconnect and not be in a, in a convention center uh, for three days, yeah. so to speak. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that event. We're going to have a lot of artsy stuff going on there. Uh, we'll have different areas for people that they can migrate to as far as uh, uh, to get with their community and their groups that they want to visit with and, and plan, uh, plan the activities. That'll be Friday night. It's from 5 to 8. You get you leave the convention center and you're right out there in the middle of it. So uh, so it'll be a it'll be a great event. It's kind of a first. We we've done some things outside before. This this will be really special though. Yeah, I'm super pumped. I'm going to be there. So you guys got to you guys got to check this out. You also we cornered you a while back, myself yep. and Josh and several, and we're like we got to bring got to bring some of these uh, new influencers. And so uh, you're actually adding a whole podcast, you know element to this. Can you talk about that too? Well, yeah, I'd be happy to. And, and this is a lot of your brainchild. I mean, we have to look back at Brother Kirk on this for, uh, for <laughs> making this happen. And I put together a little committee. Uh, they, they cornered me for about an hour and a half, I think, last year when we were in Vegas and said, why don't we have something kind of like game day on Saturday, you know, like college football game day. So we've got a whole area set aside. We, we've, we've zoomed a few times and brainstormed this. We were trying to trying to get 18 podcasters at different walks of dentistry. And uh, we've got a guest list that will just blow your mind on some of the people that are going to be there and talk. And so it's going to be like a game day atmosphere. We're going to have uh, pub tables out front where people can sit and watch the, the podcast going on. They're going to be live from, uh, from Smallcast all three days. Uh, I'm real excited about that. And I'm thankful for you, Kurt, for, for helping seed this event and, and uh, bringing the, the, the podcasters on board that's going to help make this a, just a, a memorable part of Dental Central. It's well, real, real, we're real I, excited for it. I'm just excited to be a part of this. And as you guys are going to see, there's a lot of really cool um you know, conversations going on in dentistry and, and you can be a part of them and you're going to be able to see them live, which is super awesome. Now, on top of it, like we're talking about some of the things that are going to add to the energy of the meeting, like the, the, the education always is phenomenal. Like even the speakers you got in the opening and the close, you have Brene Brown. Now, yeah, like, that. okay, first of all, you got to tell me how you made that happen. And, you know, you had mentioned she had over 100 organizations yeah. that wanted her to speak. She chose the 88. Is that true? Yeah. Can you share That's how that exactly worked? True. We, uh, I kind of had a brainstorm on this. I'd, I'd, I'd seen her in an interview and I said, you know, she's pretty sharp and she speaks well. She's kind of got a bullet next to her name. I mean, she's just a rising star. Uh, so, you know, we, we did our due diligence and checked into on it. Uh, Catherine Mills is a vice president there at ADA, and I ran into her and I said, you know, I think I have someone that might be a good opening speaker. And I mentioned Benet Brown and her jaw dropped. I said, man, I was thinking the same thing. And I said, well, you know, great minds think alike. You know, that's the thing. So, uh, but she's had six bestsellers in the New York Times. I mean, go figure that. How many of those mm -hmm. do you get? Um, she hosts uh, Unlocking Us and Dare to Lead on Spotify which is a real popular thing on Ted talk. She did a 20 minute Ted talk that is in the top five of the most listened to viewed Ted talks ever. Right. And she has $50 million view, $50 million, 50 million views on her 20 minute Ted talk. Yeah. Go figure that. So she is just, she's a professor at the university of Houston. Uh, she does a little Netflix thing on call to courage. Uh, you won't be disappointed with the Nate Brown. She Not is at just, all. She's just going to be a huge draw. Uh, it, it's worth going to SmallCon to see Benet Brown. Uh, again, a hundred organizations tried to get her to speak, and she chose the ADA. So yeah, 
that, if, if for no other reason, go to see Benet Brown because she's going to be phenomenal. Yeah, absolutely. I would put her on the – she's probably the top five in the world as far as being – requested to speak yeah, not only she's that. an amazing author but uh i would agree like i've never seen her live ah, uh, in this respect so s- respect so i'm i'm super excited to be there and then sure. also the other edu- for sure yeah what about the other education so if i'm a dentist what can i expect and i've oh, never yeah, been to the ada like from for other courses for me my team all that kind of stuff yeah well you know to me to go to an annual meeting go to small con you go there to reconnect and to connect. And if you don't go to these, it would be at the ADA or any of them, you're missing out. You know, a lot of times, I know you and I have heard a lot of the speakers and present. We have 120 speak presentations at SmileCon this year, over wow. three days. So there's not going to be anything that you can't hear and learn about to go. I know I'm, I'm kind of a dinosaur. I'm kind of a veteran. I'm, I've been practicing 36 years and I've heard most of the speakers. All of them are good. All of them tweak their message. All of them, you know, update and improve. But I'll see Dr. Jones from Arizona. Well, what are you using for impression material now? What are you using for, you know, you, I go to meetings a lot of times to learn from my colleagues. Uh, now, most of these speakers are our colleagues because they're, they're doing it too. But you, uh, that's what I think a lot of people that don't routinely go to meetings, whether it's state, local, or, or, uh, or national, that's what I get out of going to a lot of meetings. But it's nice to have fun things that we're presenting and the, the top speakers in the country. And uh, we're so versed as far as their message and their subject matter uh, that it, it's just going to be phenomenal. We're also, we're, we've got the Shimbori series that we started last year, and we've got Stanley Malmud's one of our one of our, uh, our acclaimed speakers. And if you've never heard Stan, he's just phenomenal on, on pain control and things. Yep. We've got uh, Michael McGuire. He's a local there around the Houston area. And he he's a uh, real big in perio, if you're a periodontist or even do a lot of perio. I know you've heard of him. So we're anxious to have them and to honor them as being the Shimboy speaker. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, the, we've got you covered. If there's something you want to learn about, you need to be at SmileCon this year to, to go. Yeah, it, it's just going to be a, it's going to be a great show for everyone. Yeah, regardless of why you're going. Regardless, and you know, think about this: you're going to go to a place where everyone is there. You know, you got some of the best thinkers in dentistry. You've got an incredible incredible community you've got a lot of fun to do uh while you're there and so uh it's a no-brainer i think you got to check it out i also want you to talk about the dental olympics this is a concept that you guys came up with can you share i think it's super super cool can you tell us about that well a thought that i had that you know i'm from arkansas we have no dental schools in, in arkansas you know we have to go to out-of-state schools and stuff and we have agreements to do that but in texas there's four dental schools and uh, if you think about it, they, they are colleagues, but they're kind of competitors too. They compete for the best students to go to their school. So I always thought, I said, you know, it would be neat if we could have a way to have kind of a kumbaya moment with the dental students. And so I approached the deans at uh, all four dental schools. I said, let's have a friendly competition of students. Send us a team of four students and we'll have what we call Dental Olympics. And I, I know I had uh, Dean Valencia said, yeah, we do something like that where they run around with a baseball bat and they do athletic. I said, no, this is all dental. We're gonna have different, different uh, events in this over a couple of days that the students will participate in, friendly competition, and uh, have it where they can learn and meet other students. Uh, I had an ulterior motive. If you know, if we have students, then other students will come to cheer them on, and then their families will come to cheer them on, and then faculty may come to cheer them on, and alumni will come to cheer them on. So I think it's going to help attendance a lot too. Is one of my secondary motives on on doing that. But the, the other thing is is to get the dental schools kind of together, uh, and I've been calling it a kumbaya moment, something they can come and they can compare, and I think they do a little that on their own, but. I've heard from all of them. I wish we could do better on that, even right. though they are kind of competing for those best students. I know I have a, I have a cousin that, that was between Houston or, or A&M, and she was from Dallas, so she chose A&M, but Houston really wanted her too. So, you, you know, just by human nature, they're going to have some of that competitive edge to get the best students. And you can't blame them. If I was a dean of a school, I'd want the same thing. But I said, let's have something fun about that. And let's, let's get them together and let's have a, an audience out there where they can cheer them on and, 
and have fun. So I'm kind of really looking forward to that. The other good thing about that is we're kind of letting the, the students themselves design and direct the events that they're going to take place in. You know, I can come up with the concept, but uh, we put a little committee together, but uh, we want the students to do that. We even got a sponsor that's going to help on that. So it, it's not going to be an outlay of a lot of money. And of course, you know, money is money. And that's something that we, we, we want to make sure that we're not doing these things and losing money. Right. We always like to have things as a member benefit. You know, let's just go and enjoy and learn. Uh, meet, play, learn, and smile. That's kind of our four little uh, our topics that we like to uh, like to uh, uh, improve on. So, uh, so yeah, that's going to be a cool event. It really is. Now, it may compete a little against with you podcasters because it's going to be in Dental Central, but uh, I think we'll have a good enough crowd where they can enjoy both of them too. I totally agree. That's going to be awesome. And, and while we've been talking about like as an attendee, there's a lot. You're going to love it. There's a ton of value. A big part of this is also, you know, the exhibitors, the vendors. And so as a dentist or a dental team, you know, you might be thinking about new technology things. And it's going, it's, what's really cool, if you haven't been there, you have to check this out. You can actually walk the floor and meet with all of them because they're all in one place. Can you talk about yeah. your vision behind that? Yeah, you know, you know, all dental meetings will have this, you know, and we've, we've called ours Dental Central with SmileCon, and it is, it's a central place that we can all go, and we can learn, and we can meet, and there'll be some fun stuff, you know, there to play with, too, and then after it's all over, we can smile, and what a great experience. We're going to have, uh, you know, we, we're going to center on the business of dentistry, is one thing, the arts and design of that. So all of that's going to dovetail in science and technology. We're going to have an AI component this year that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, the ADA is going to have a, a setup where, where they're going to initiate their own podcast. And so that this will be an inaugural uh, thing for them to, to, to get that going. So I'm excited to see how that's, that's going to work. We'll have games. We have PharmaZone that's going to be back where you can go and test your, your thoughts and your skills on pharmacology issues and stuff. That was a huge hit last year in Vegas, so we're bringing that back. We're having a, 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 an episode that's called Chat, which is Connect, Huddle, and Talk. So we're going to have a lot of the speakers that are making presentations will go and you can sit at a table and maybe you know, have a Coke or drink a cup of coffee or have a meal and visit with the speakers just kind of one on one or a group setting at a table. So we're bringing that back to uh, Dental Central. Uh, we're having community lounges where you can go and a group of you can go and sit in a lounge. Uh, the other neat thing, and I know we're getting ready to touch on this coming up, where uh, NASA is coming and bringing a mini museum. In and so they're bringing the moon rock. And so, you know, if you hadn't seen the moon rock, it's going to be at Dental Central. And uh, I know we had to get extra security for that. Wow. So, uh, you know, a rock's not a rock is a rock. If it comes from the moon, it's, it's a different kind of rock. And so we're real excited. NASA, we, I've, uh, I've met with a lot of the VPs there and staying at the Johnson Space Center. They've rolled out the red carpet from this guy from Arkansas. They've said, yeah, come on. In fact, one of the guys I met with was from my hometown. And so we had a little connection there. But they're, uh, they're going to have a presenter there that's going to do a couple of presentations. The, uh, the flight surgeon is going to, to give a little presentation. Uh, in our closing ceremony, we have uh, an astronaut going to give his testimony. Uh, and he's going to be phenomenal. So uh, it, it's we're real excited about the NASA presence. Uh, they really thank me a lot, saying thank you for coming in February to solicit us. A lot of groups have come to Houston, call them the week before, and say, "Can y'all help us out and do something?" So we can't get anything done in a week. So I gave them six or seven months to uh, to prepare. So they're really going to bring uh, the full show to us. They like lifting up NASA to groups. Yeah how they can attract the young people and the kids of old guys like us, you know, or grandkids. And maybe there's a potential astronaut in the group too that's, uh, that's come. I've learned a lot about NASA. Some of the facts that they tell us about, you know, when you see, you know, someone that's doing a, a, a walk outside the space station and they're tethered on, he says, you don't realize they're going 17,000 miles an hour. What? I, wow. You're kidding me. He says, you see them on TV, you think they're just tethered there and they're kind of working on the space. You said, oh, no, there's no park or drive or reverse on the space station. It's cruising. Wow. And there's a lot of things that you didn't know that you didn't know. 
And so they're going to bring a lot of those facts and, 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 and interesting things. He said, you know, when we go to the moon and there's an emergency, say, on the, on the space shuttle, you know, say you have a toothache or appendicitis or something like that. He said, that's a, that's a pretty much, you know, a real time conversation. He said, when we go to Mars, there's a 30 minute lag. So he said, when you go to Mars and someone has an emergency, we don't hear about it for 30 minutes. Wow. And when we respond, it's 30 more minutes before they hear our response. And you don't think about things like that unless you're kind of really in tune to that. But just some, some interesting little tidbits that they can bring and can help how they train astronauts to handle, you know, uh, emergencies, dental or medical. So, yeah, that's real. I'm real excited to have NASA there. You know, my first theme was a sports town, Houston. And I said, but, you know, if you're from Dallas, you don't care about sports in Houston. You know, that <laughs> So I said, we need to go, we need to go global on that. So then NASA came into play. So uh, it's worked out very well. They've been real open and anything we need, please ask us and we see if we can provide for it. So except for security for the moon rock, we have to get up for that. So I think we're, I think we can handle that. Yeah. And Bob, I just, I, I mean, you're amazing, buddy. I've been, I've been with you in so many meetings. I watch how you care for this profession. I'm just going to say, if you're listening or watching and you haven't been to the ADA, this is the time to go. You will absolutely love it. You're going to come back energized, feeling better about the profession, really well supported. And um, we're going to put all the links in below, whether you're listening to the podcast or you're watching the video, you're going to see We'll put all the links right below so you can click on them. It'll take you right there and you can get more information um, uh, yeah, all about it. Do. Yeah, please, please do. You, so. can always, you, know, you can always click in uh, you know, with the ADA and get information there. It's always you know, in the morning huddle if you're a member or, or the journal that comes out. There's a lot of information. Now. It's not too late to go. I think there's a little bit of a fee increase here in about a week or so. So you can still kind of get under the the deadline as far as, as good fees. I'm hoping to have a lot of drive ups the day of, you know, when we're in San Francisco or in Orlando, they have a lot of the day of type of participation. So I'm hoping in the Houston area, we'll get a lot of that too, that will, that will help. Yeah. That'll be awesome. Awesome. That'll awesome. Be. Well, any last thoughts you have, Bob? I know you don't have all day for, to talk to me. I, I mean, I, well, I love this I stuff. You for, for weeks and, <laughs> and, and, and con the same. I mean, it's, it's something that, that I enjoy doing. It's a way I give back. And, uh, you know, if you don't give back to your family or your community, your church or your profession, what else is there? So this is right. kind of how I get back to that. But no, it's going to be a great show. Uh, we've committed to SmileCon versus what our annual session was. We have different levels that you can participate, different costs. Uh, next year will even be better than this year and, and, and for years to come. So it, it's a building, uh, element that we put into it last year we were a little bit thumped for covid so you know at vegas and we had to have all the screenings so we're not doing that if you want to wear your mask you're more than welcome to uh social distancing we'll have uh, you know sanitation stations around if you if you want to, to do so but uh we kind of have to do pretty much what houston and the convention center says that we have to do and they're pretty lax about things in, in houston so uh, we kind of leave that up to our, our attendees on how they want to handle that. But it is going to be an awesome show. I've been honored to be uh, named chair of it this year. Uh, so it's going to be great. Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing everybody and reconnecting. And I think that's the thing that you need to think about. It's the relationships that make the world turn around. And so uh, that's what's good about it. Amen, brother. And the relationships, you know, what you guys stand for. And uh, ultimately, when you come back and you're energized, you think better about your profession, this is the place to do it. So I'm going to encourage you guys to check it out. The links are below. So, Bob, thank you so much for being on. I appreciate you, buddy. I appreciate you for all that you do for dentistry. Hey, well, I will keep doing it because this is the greatest profession ever. So stick around when we say goodbye to everybody else. Um, but thank you guys for <laughs> thank you guys for listening or watching. And uh, if you enjoyed today, share this with your friends. Join Bob, myself, and everybody else on this amazing team as uh, we go down to SmileCon. I promise you, you will love it. And uh, you'll come back on fire for your practice, your patients, your family, all that kind of stuff. So make sure you check it out. All the links are below. You can click click on them. It'll take you right there. And until we see you guys next time, or you hear from us next time, keep watching the best practice show. We'll see you guys in Houston. Take care, guys. Have a great day.